Still not interested. Oh. Sorry. If you ever change your mind. Right.
Codsworth. Shall I accompany you, sir? Would you like to? As you wish, sir. No, not now. All right, then. Carla. Hey there. Trading? Let's see what you've got. Yeah, yeah, keep your shit.
You have marvelous bone structure. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. I'm just asking for your opinion. Could be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg... The Institute? I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things... He ain't kidding. Heck, makes a synth and... No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. You don't know anything? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the common uh -huh. one of. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us of where the Institute actually is. Exactly. But there's one person who has Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type of... So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. I was so blind. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old... Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the path. Uh -huh. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing... You're right. <laughs> You're talking to a synth. I am a little out. Let's see, I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray... Jesus, Nick! Gross! I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain. Uh huh. I'm gonna need a really sharp. I'm sure you'll man. Uh -huh. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running. I have to go to the memory den either way if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together. I'll head there on. All right. See, don't worry. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. Ellie? I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? The only thing I'm ready for... I'm afraid hard-earned caps is all we've got to offer. Sure. Anyway, the client is a fisherman who lives on... Nakano? That name. Maybe if you bothered writing things down. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put... Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console us. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything. But if you want my guess, missing person case. So, is the... F hey, whatever floats you. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard case is all.
hold up there. First time in good neighbor, you can't go walk. Insurance? I'm listening. That's right. Insurance. Sure. You hand over everything you got. Good neighbor, you can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say you're. Time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. Be soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me. Now, don't be like that. I think you're right. You hand over every... All muscle, new... Two brains. Someone steps through the place the first time. Yes. Thirsty, are we? Fortunately, you picked the right town. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's gotta make a point some. It's not every day I get- You obviously haven't been living it up enough. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Good. You stay cool, and you'll... Uh -huh. So long as you remember. A new player in the name. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Uh-huh. Who? I'm a woman, baby. Oh, of course you are. Designation, Assaultron. Designed, runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? Robot enough for you, smooth talker? You're... That's what my maker has called me. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. So what'll it be? So what kind of what? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That mm -hmm. now. I'll take a look, sure. Murder and mayhem.
every weapon you see? Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the moon. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. You got the memory mm. card loaded up? I'm oh, always downstairs. You're not Irma. You big flirt. Hey. Good neighbor's crazy. That's... I hear you. It's rough in the best of days. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. My family and I used to... You mean when they first aired? How? The last... Aren't there... Oh, sure. There were a lot of us schools that lived back then. But none of us... I was in cryogenic storage. Oh, man, that's amazing. You're just like Mr. Vomitable. Who's Mr. He was a caveman. Got frozen in an iceberg from prehistoric times. When it, it took the shroud and man to man combined. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It seems like people are fine. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City. But over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the silver shroud was real? With his black. I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can. Uh huh. Good on you. I just have to do something. Uh -huh. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than... But to make this work, I still need the most important... And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for... Not interested. I ain't asking you to do it for free. Listen, the costumes at Hubris Comics. You get that? Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Doctor, it's time for you. What? Uh, I wouldn't have put it quite that way, but it's true. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memories... I mean... This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest sign... Right. Fine. I'll take a look. Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? No, I will not. Now, do you have... Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain. No, I will... Now, do you have... How much... That is not an encouraging question. 
I suppose. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? Yeah, those circuits look all I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all inst So the brain is still good? Possibly. There's no sign of decay. So the tech is probably preserving the tea. But there's no way to access the memories inside. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. There could be long-term side effects. I don't... Don't bother. I don't need to hear... You really think this will... No idea. Uh-huh. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked... Walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Doctor, it's time for you to... What? Uh, Are you two putting aside the... F I mean... Tech? This dead brain... Fine. Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? No. Now... How much of the brain... That is not... Here's what I could find. What's this? Mm -hmm. That's the hippocampus. Right. Mm, those circuits... I'm not surprised. So the brain is... Possibly. Mm -hmm. But there's no way to access them. You're talking about me? There could... Don't bother. We should try plugging you into a token. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible... Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the Lomi. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Doctor, it's time for you to... What? Uh, Are you two putting aside the... I mean, technically... This dead... Uh -huh. Fine. I'll take a look. Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? No. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have... How much... That is not... Here's what I could find. What? Mm -hmm. That's the hip... Uh -huh. uh, those circuits... I'm not surprised. Sure. So the brain is... Poss but then You're talking? There could... Don't bother. Uh-huh. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully it'll be as simple as unplugging the... But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is... Mm -hmm. We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory lounge. He'll act as a host, 
while your consciousness drives sure Nick and I are gonna share if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems we would have found your um no you won't have to worry about that any idea I have no clue but considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain all right just sit down over there see you on the other side Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I'm sure that's gonna take some getting used to for a lot of What a joke. What's it mean, huh? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCI would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another... intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Dad was either drunk. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Turn down the goddamn... I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Radio. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> That cost her more than a few beatings. 
I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. People are always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. The thing about happiness is, is, you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand. That's what happiness felt like. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. I was the hot shit, the gunslinger from the hub, rolling into town with the world at my feet. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I... I never deserved her. Not for one second. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Well, nothing like that in the NCR these days. I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. There was always someone who wanted someone else. There was always a job for someone like There was always someone who wanted someone else dead. 
Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Sit down. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. Get yourself. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. It was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. First sense weren't. I'm glad you decided to meet. The first sense weren't all that. The first sense weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the institute. So. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. But I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Suited me just fine. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. You're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. 
It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. The eggheads. Vault computers are still... I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Working. That's good. I never knew what... Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. This is the one. Here. Open it. Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to... I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have a backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on. Big heads never. All right, we're good. I'm. Ah, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. 
This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Since could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. It wasn't my idea to settle down. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. time I have to watch someone's well if you're cognizant enough to joke I think we can safely say it. are you ready to talk about I saw color that's right he was a human being just like the rest how does that I don't know if there's any right way to... F We're getting off track. The important thing... The only question is... What? You don't have a spare tele... This is serious. No one outside the Institute could dream... Of right. Wait, maybe that's it. That memory about... I don't know. The memory gave us a starting point. The glowing sea. But that... Why? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that no navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing... That's why it doesn't make sense. 
Virgil fleeing into the... Mm -hmm. That's why he's there. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. It right. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. -E so be sure you find a way to get through there with your life. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the imp- Uh-huh. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on. You want to try for round two? What? What are you... Wait. Were you just playing a joke? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so... I'm gonna head out on my own from here. Good luck out there. The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Hey, Irma. Oh, enjoying yourself and good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? You like the decor? My business partner hates it. Says she's not the fun type. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Steel is. I'm not buying that. We come in peace, Malarkey. <clears throat> you running from something? Welcome home. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. The other day. These wishes. All right, all right. We're getting off track. Now I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. Oh, in that's my time. right. What matters? The flying we ship. freaks gotta stick you know, together. The... The best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock! Now, what out there in our big, friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the Super Mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond what, City. You drive? I don't know. Head Hancock, over to the third rail. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that The Hotel Rex has got focused. rules for it. Now I want everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do. When family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. They can't control us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared of the Institute? No! And which town in the Commonwealth should the Institute not fuck with? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. And who's in charge of good neighbor? Hancock! For the people! For the people! This is one of the few places in the Commonwealth that accepts ghouls. Not like those bigots. Trying to stay on good behavior here. Don't make me do something. 